Welcome to New Jersey Institute of Technology website and math podcast. My name is Sarah. Today I'll be covering order of operations with exponents. Let's go over the rules for order of operations. First rule, you know, it states that you must do whatever is inside the parentheses first. Second rule, you must do all multiplication and division from left to right. Third rule, you must do all addition and subtraction from left to right. What if we now include exponents? Exponents are like 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, or 2 to the 5th. If we include exponents, the rules are still the same. The first rule, you have to do whatever is inside the parentheses first. The second rule, you must do all exponents from left to right. Third rule, you must do all multiplication and division from left to right. Fourth rule, you must do all addition and subtraction from left to right. For example, Say I give you this problem to do about exponents. 5 cubed times 2 to the 4th. Using order of operations or the anchor name, please excuse my doing anything stupid or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, where P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. First, you must do the exponents. 5 to the 5 squared means 5 times 5. 2 to the 4th power means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Do not mess up and say 2 to the 4th power means 2 times 4. That's incorrect. You have to know that 2 to the 4th power means you have to multiply 2 times each other 4 times. 5 times 5 will give you 25. 2 to the 4th power, you could split it up twice. You could say 2 times 2, and then you could say again 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 gives you 4. 2 times 2 gives you 4. And you have to bring down the multiplication. So 4 times 4 gives you 16. Do not forget the original problem the multiplication you have to bring it down so you do 25 times 16 and that gives you 400 and that's your answer another problem that we are gonna do right now involves brackets and parentheses you remember from the last section that these are called brack brace these are called brace and these are called brackets and these are what are called parentheses Say I gave you this problem, 5 times bracket parentheses 4 plus 3 squared plus 2, close the bracket. Using the order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What we must do first is the parentheses. So 5 times bracket 4, t 4 plus 3 gives you 7. So 7, and don't forget the second power plus 2 then what you must do next according to the order of operation rule is the exponent so 5 times 7 to the second power gives you 49 49 plus 2 then what you must do next is whatever is inside the bracket so 5 times 49 plus 2 gives you 51 5 times 51 gives you 255. That is your final answer. Thank you for visiting the NGIT website. If you need further assistance, stop by the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment located in Kufrian, Room 200. Good luck in your studies.